Hello everyone, my name's Nicole. At Philips, we know that clinicians often need immediate and easy access to actionable data in order to reach precise diagnosis and treatment plans for complex cardiac conditions. So today I'd like to show you a smart, efficient clinical pathway for one patient, Yvonne, an active grandmother of three. I'm joined now by her cardiologist, Dr. Romano, to learn how her care team is getting the information they need. So we want to talk to you about your patient, Yvonne, who was experiencing chest pains and shortness of breath. How concerned were you initially? Well, Yvonne told me she's been going to morning cardio workouts lately as a way to manage her high cholesterol and blood pressure. So it was concerning to hear the symptoms started while exercising. At her age and as a former smoker, she's at an intermediate risk of coronary artery disease. So I wanted to review her history and run some initial tests quickly. Did it take long for you to get the information you needed? Not at all. Our new cardiovascular image and information management system allows me to view a patient's full cardiac timeline, basically from anywhere, even my work desk at home. I saw that she had an echo study done only six months ago. That, along with her worsening symptoms, confirmed my risk assessment and the need for further diagnostic testing. We previously spoke with another of our partners in Copenhagen about the support they're receiving from the same system and it sounds incredibly helpful. They told us the advantage of IntelliSpace Cardiovascular is that you get all the specific cardiac examinations in one workspace and you're even able to review them from whichever institution in the region the examination has been performed and from wherever you are. Yes, it helps me to work more efficiently avoid repeating exams, and I didn't have to keep Yvonne waiting too long for our next steps. In our same system, I put in an order for cardiac CT exam on our new spectral CT system. I'm sure our scans are complete by now. If you hurry, I bet you could catch our cardiac imager, Dr. Green, while he reviews the results. Sounds great. Thanks for your time, doctor. You're welcome. Hi, Dr. Green. We heard Yvonne's CT scan was complete. Have you been able to view the images yet? Yes, well, I actually just finished her report. Our new spectral CT really simplifies complex cases like Yvonne's. How so? For one thing, the spectral data improves my ability to visualise the coronary vessels and evaluate the myocardium. That sounds very helpful to your diagnostic decision making. We also heard from another Philips partner in Europe that there are workflow advantages to this new spectral system too. Here's what he said. No tenemos ninguna desventaja al hacer esta adquisición espectral. La rotación no es más lenta, eh, no tenemos que eh, suministrar más dosis al paciente, no tenemos que hacer cambios en los protocolos, todo lo contrario, los protocolos son iguales o más sencillos, no tenemos que repetir estudios, podemos ahorrar dosis de radiación en algunos casos porque no hay que hacer incluso estudios sin contraste. Exactly. All we had to do is add a couple of the spectral views I like to the results and our text scan like normal. Well, that seems simple for everyone. And how important is it for patients in this situation to get a CT scan? A CT scan can be extremely valuable. It can tell us whether or not the patient needs intervention. Almost 60% of patients sent to the cath lab end up not having obstructive disease. So then, what support did you have for reading her images? Well, thanks to our new advanced visualisation tools with AI, I was able to complete the analysis of her coronaries in under five minutes. From that, I could confidently diagnose Yvonne with CAD and see that she has an 80% stenosis in the left anterior descending artery with multiple lesions and some calcification. She also has an occlusion of her circumflex artery. Oh no, that sounds serious. Well, the good news is we're moving quickly. My report was immediately available to her team and she's already scheduled for a percutaneous coronary intervention. That's a relief. Thank you, doctor. No problem. Looks like we're on our way to the coronary suite. Hi, Dr. Bianchi. Hi. We'd love to hear how Avon's procedure went and what technology supported your work. 
Well, I'm happy to say Yvonne's procedure went smoothly from beginning to end. Our new coronary suite integrates the tools we need to work efficiently and keeps us focused on the patient. This is especially important for complex cases like Yvonne's. And what tools were integrated in this case? To start, she was brought into the cath lab already connected to a portable patient monitor, which we could dock right here to start advanced hemodynamic monitoring. This is all fully integrated with our image-guided therapy system here, so there are no reconnections required and we can control and view everything at tableside. I've heard this system can be a game changer for workflow. One partner previously told us that it's a go-to hub for all the things you need during the case, placed literally at your fingertips. That saves us time and allows us to maintain focus on the patient and procedure. Exactly. And since we already had our patient CT images here on the screen, we could assess the lesions and decide on the best approach. So how did you begin the procedure? Firstly, I took an angiogram using the low-dose settings on the x-ray to visually confirm the lesions. And once you can see the lesions, how do you decide which need to be treated and how best to treat them? Well, our system includes integrated interventional devices and software that allow me to determine both of these things. I use IFR to measure the functional significance of each lesion to determine which need to be treated. IFR doesn't require the administration of adenosine, which is more comfortable for the patient and saves time compared to FFR. Also, I measure IFR using a really incredible new pressure wire that performs just like my workhorse wires. So next, how do you decide the best way to treat the lesions? For that, I use intravascular ultrasound. This shows me characteristics of the vessel and lesion that I can't get through angiography alone, uh, such as size, length and morphology. Knowing these things helps me select the most appropriate treatment for the patient. Doesn't all of this double checking take you away from the procedure? Well, the best part about all of this is that my IFR and IVUS measurements are co-registered directly onto the angiogram, so I can quickly tell exactly where the problems are and what to do about them, without the guesswork of combining all of these separate measurements in my head. And I can do all of this at tableside without breaking scrub. That's so easy. Yeah. And as we speak, Yvonne is in recovery and data from the procedure has been sent to the cath lab information management system for reporting. Later, the report will be stored in Yvonne's online patient history so that the rest of her care team can get the information they need, especially for follow-up appointments. So it sounds like we just need to check in with Yvonne once she's home. Thanks for your time, Dr Bianchi. My pleasure. Yvonne was discharged shortly after we spoke with Dr Bianchi. Let's see how she's doing. Hello Yvonne, you're looking well. How's your recovery going? Hi there. Very well. I am so happy to be home. And I'm pleased to say that I haven't had any incidents in 30 days. So I have the all clear from my doctors to continue my morning exercises. That's great news Yvonne. I'm so happy you can get back to your workouts. Thanks for sharing your care journey with us. It's my pleasure. Bye everyone. I hope this journey showed you how solutions from Philips address the complexity and challenges of cardiac care teams and help create a smoother experience for your patients as well. And we look forward to starting a conversation with you about the unique needs of your practice. Thanks for joining us. <laughs>